What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today, and in this video we are doing massive unboxing number 11. I am so excited to do this massive unboxing here because I got a lot of incredible stuff to unbox here in this video. And as you can tell, I am in a completely different setting. Once again, I'm back at the Intercontinental Hotel at the Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport, so you can probably guess where I went to. I went to DG Pilot and Hub Hobby, picked up a couple of models from each place. Um, got a lot from DG Pilot and a couple from uh, Hub Hobby. So I think we have approximately, I think like 10 models to unbox or so. I'll try to do an exact count here towards the end of the video. Um, another thing I do want to mention is that as I record this on this very day, it is my birthday. So happy birthday to me. Obviously this video will go out after my birthday has passed. So if you want to leave any belated birthday wishes um, in the comments, I would definitely appreciate it. But with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and showcase all the models. So I'll just kind of go here and order from um, when I got them. So the first will be the birthday models and then I'll have the Hub Hobby stuff and then the DG Pilot haul towards the end of the video. And you can see here, uh, I'll just kind of do a little tour here of the set of like I got going here. So this is kind of where I'm filming here, uh, just on this little shelf. There's some stuff up here on the top. Um, it's like three different shelves. I'll take, I'll try to take a picture of it when it's empty, just so you can kind of get an understanding of what it's like. But I kind of like the setup here just because of how, you know, sleek and modern it looks. And if you can hear, uh, there is an aircraft taken off just outside our hotel room. And yes, I have done plenty of plane spotting. They were landing on the other side of the uh, airport earlier um, in our stay, but looks like they have switched due to the winds probably changing. And it is quite foggy out, as you can see here. Um, so knocked out all of my spotting yesterday on Friday. Today's Saturday, March 5th, as I record this. So yeah, good thing I knocked out all the spotting. I cannot wait to post all the spotting content. I'll have to see how I want to work out the agenda for all the videos and such. So hopefully I'll have that going here very soon. And then over here, you can kind of see all the models and everything inside there and all these bags. I'm going to show you them all. Yes, there's something special right there. I'll talk more about that here in just a moment. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and uh, just kind of go through each model here. Just go through the rounds here of all the models I have. Alrighty everybody, so we're going to go ahead and get started here with massive unboxing number 11. I'm going to go ahead and showcase the birthday models I got. There are three in total. So I'll just kind of put them underneath the camera here. Sorry about the audio there, it's going to get a little bit crappy. First up we have the United Airlines Boeing 737-900 in the Evo Blue livery by NG Models. And this is one of the models that has the uh, NG Collector's Reward Plan or CRP cards in it, so I'm excited to show you that. Um, hopefully I'll make a video on that as I input all the codes and stuff, but I'm going to wait until I accumulate enough of those codes so that I can actually have, you know, decent, um, a decent amount of points when I insert them in all at once, because I think you, they can be saved as long as they don't show the codes or anything, so. Next up, we have Gemini Jets 1 to 400 scale, American 737 Max 8. So there it is right there. Been wanting this from, I think this is the August 2021 releases, so I figured I'd pick this one up. And then, ladies and gentlemen, history has been made in my collection as I have my first Gemini 200 model. This is the 1 to 200 scale Delta Connection Bombardier slash Mitsubishi CRJ 900. The new 2021 release that came out in... Gosh, I'm trying to think what month that was. I can't think of it off the top of my head right now, but it did come out sometime in 2021, so yeah. Um, I'll probably save the 1-200 unboxing towards the end of the video, so I'll just go ahead and do the 1-400 uh, scale stuff first. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the, I'm going to go with the American 737 Max 8 by Gemini Jets. So I don't have my usual pencil here, so I borrowed one here. This is just a kind of a different pencil, uh, just so I can do the review. So obviously here we have the standard Gemini Jets box here on this American 737 MAX 8. There it is inside, and then we have the uh, flap with the aircraft information there, as expected. Turn to the back, this is a uh, 2021 release here. I'll zoom in a little bit so I don't have to adjust the camera as much, so uh, yeah. Okay, quick interruption here in this unboxing because I just spotted this out the, going out my window here. Air Canada Express Embraer 175 in the new livery. So yeah, that's all I want to show you here. Let's get back to the unboxing. All right, so item number on this one is GJAAL1863. So just went off from 1864. That was the American A320 that they did back in uh, 2020. So yeah, kind of interesting to do unboxings here. Um, figured I'd shake things up a little bit. Just try, try to provide a bit of a better setup here. And uh, yeah, here we go. First model out for mass unboxing number 11 here. Just gonna do QC check and we are good. 
And here she is, the American 737 Max 8 by Gemini Jets. So I'll adjust the camera a little bit here so it's a little bit more centered. Starting off here at the front, we have the cockpit windows right there. You got the L1 door. Uh, got your nose landing gear down there, various details and other elements included on it. So kind of zoom in right there. I do like the reflection on this though. This looks really cool. So let me know if you like this. I wish I could take this back home with me, but obviously the hotel would not like that. So I don't know, maybe I'll design something like this in the future. So let me know if this is what you like. Um, and right here we got the L1 door, a little One World sticker right there, the big American titles. Got the engines that do kind of tilt up a little bit, but it's not that bad, so this model actually is pretty good in terms of QC. Uh, American flag down there, the registration uh, that wants to focus on the other wing over there, November 324, Romeo November. And then the American Airlines tail. So I'll flip the model underneath here, we got a little stand hole, Gemini Jets logo. Again, the landing gear is glued to the fuselage. Why it's like that, I don't know. They should definitely change that. But I mean, apart from that, the model is in good condition. Uh, no loose pieces, no missing pieces, uh, nothing of the like. So really happy that this model came in one piece. I was kind of expecting some QC issues. I did buy a couple defective models and you'll see those a little bit later in the video. So with that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and move on to model number two. All right, next up we have the NG Models 1 to 400 scale United Airlines Boeing 737-900 in the Evo Blue livery. This is a really nice model. Um, they announced this in, I think, the October 2021 release batch, but it got pushed back to, I think, January. I did also get the 757, so there's a sneak peek on an upcoming model that I will unbox here uh, a little bit later in the video. So let's go and start off here on the box. We have Boeing 737-900 up here. We got this wonderful wave here with the Evo Blue and the shading and everything. I love the box art on this one. Image of the plane, United logo, the registration, November 38417. Got the NG logo, 1400 scale collectible models, die cast metal, and officially licensed Boeing product. Moving to the side, I did get these models from Waffle Collectibles. I picked them out from them, rather. Um, so there's his database number. Um, so I'll go ahead and remove that just for the sake of the review. Put it on the back there. So we got 737-900, NG logo, uh, United logo, and the 1400 scale collectible models, die cast metal. Top of the box, we got a nice gray here, Boeing 737-900, NG logo, image of the plane, and the registration. This side's the same as the left, and then the bottom's the same as at the top, so, and there's the back of the box, again, with the database there. Same thing as the front, minus the um, aircraft information, all that stuff, we do have NG socials. 79006 is the item number. And this will be my first NG model that has the collector's reward plan card in it, so let's see if that is included. Um, you can see there, it just kind of, just kind of floats in there loosely inside the box here. So there it is, boys. Look at this. So this is just kind of the front here. I'll go ahead and hold it in front of the screen. So if you want to read this, you can pause it. I was thinking about reading it, but I think everybody's seen it at this point, so I don't really need to read it. So yeah, um, on the back, we do have a little thing here. So there is the number there, production number uh, 1676. Looks pretty nice, so yeah. Hopefully I'll uh, insert the uh, codes in at some point. I'm just kind of waiting here uh, to accumulate enough and just kind of seeing how the other things go with the uh, collector's reward plan. So box this here and here we go. If I can, oh God, this is greasy. i try to pressure on the left here. There we go. Um, oh, oh no. Oh yeah. Yep, this is what some people were having some issues with, and we do have a broken NG model, ladies and gentlemen. Not good. And this is exactly why I do QC checks on this here. So let me check here if there's any damage to the paint, which surprisingly there isn't too much, but I'll kind of go ahead and show here in front of the camera. So you can see there, some paint is rubbed off there with that blue. Um, other wing is intact, so yeah, it just seems to be that port wing there, that's kind of an issue, so... I guess on my birthday, I still can't get away from broken models, which is unfortunate. I mean, come on, NG, you seriously gotta get this under control. We're paying $45 for these things, and I, I appreciate the, um, I appreciate this thing right here. I mean, this is a really innovative idea, but I mean, come on. If you can't fix your models, most people are just gonna start going to other brands. And I know I said this with Gemini Jets before, but I mean, your name is NG Models for a reason. Like, you should be, like, the next generation in terms of quality and just model collecting in general. Like, this is not supposed to happen. And I can forgive, like, the isolated incidents, but I've seen plenty of other people get this in similar instances with, with where the left wing comes out, so... If NG could seriously fix their QC issues, I would appreciate it because this is not what we expect um, from NG models, so... Okay, and here's something upstairs. Not sure what's going on there, but I really hope NG does get this fixed at some point because this is ridiculous, so... 
yeah, I'm not gonna do a review on this because, and I would I would love to do a review on this, but you know you know what? I'm just gonna do a review anyway. So we're just gonna do a little bit of this. And there it is, the model is now put back together here just for the sake of the review here. So it actually does slot in pretty nicely, which is good. So uh, no need to worry about that here. So I'll just do a review anyway, because I love this model. So starting off at the front here, we have the cockpit windows, got connecting people united in the world, the Star Alliance logo, which is present on the production stuff. NG had shown a pre-production photo that did not have the uh, Star Alliance logo, but thankfully the production stuff does. L1 door, United logo, the registration November 3 417, and then we have the United tail. Um, other side is about the same, but yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate that this wing here just did not want to be glued on there for whatever reason. So there's the underneath of it. I mean, very unfortunate set of circumstances there from NG models. So hopefully they're able to get this QC issue fixed out. And I really hope that, just getting a little bit sidetracked here, I really hope Gemini Jets gets their QC issues fixed out as well, because I feel like both brands, they're really great. I may have crapped on Gemini Jets a little too much in the past, and I do apologize for that, but I mean, if they're going to keep making broken models, they're just going to get crapped on anyway, so whatever. So that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next haul of stuff. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to wait to unbox my Gemini 200 model towards the end of the video. Just because it's a different scale and all that stuff. All right, next up we have the Hub Hobby Haul. Now we only have two models from here because their prices are a little eh. They're a little bit on the price here and I'll kind of showcase here in just a moment. But we only have two models from here, but we do have quite the interesting lineup here. We do have... Look what I found! A United Airlines Boeing 377 Stratocruiser in 1400 scale. I don't think I've seen anybody unbox this in 1400 scale before, and this is just kind of something that really called my name, so I just I just could not risk getting, getting this. And it was only 30 bucks. I mean, this is not a bad price for something that's quite rare. And it's in a metal tin box as well, which I've never unboxed here on the channel, so uh, there's that one for you. And then the other one that we have in here, kind of, an, kind of an oddity, I guess, but we do have the Royal Jordanian 7878 by Gemini Jets. And the price is, yeah, uh, this is kind of why I don't buy much from Hub Hobby, 70 bucks. Yeah, uh, it should have been like 40 or something, because that's why I see most of the retailers price this at or other similar aircraft of this size. So uh, we're gonna go and unbox the Royal Jordanian here first, just because this is the uh, least interesting one here. So obviously we have the model inside. There is the uh, aircraft information there and all that fun stuff. Ignore the reflection too, by the way. The glare here is kind of bad with all the lighting and stuff. Aircraft continuing to take off here. So again, that will be mentioned a few more times. But on the back, 2021 releases from the April set. So this will be my second model from that set. Item number is GJRJA1976. Okay, so we're just gonna inch this out here. I'm trying to be careful here on this like glass shelf because I think it is glass. It's kind of hard to say, but I'm just gonna treat it like it's glass. I'm gonna be very delicate with unboxing stuff here. So I might unbox the 1200 down on like the main part of the shelf, if you will, just so that way it doesn't like put too much weight on it and break it because I'd hate to break this. Okay, so sorry about the angle. And all right, I think we're good here. Oh, this is slotted. That's really nice. Ooh, beautiful. And here it is, the Royal Jordanian 7878 by Gemini Jets. Why did I choose this one? Well, I kind of took interest to it back when it was released in uh, April of 2021. And I mean, they do fly to Chicago here, I do believe, um, as I do see a Delta A22300 taxiing by the window there. That's pretty cool. Um, but like I, like I was saying, um, they do fly to Chicago here. I do remember seeing it when I visited there back in April 2019. Not sure if they're still flying there. I think they, they, they could be, but they might not be due to the COVID stuff. Uh, they might have canceled that route because of the low passenger demands caused by COVID. So, but regardless, this is still a very interesting model here. So we're going to go ahead and do a bit of a review here. I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit just so that way the focus is not on that uh, back wing over there. So apologies if it's a little bit out of focus in some areas. So I do apologize. Uh, starting out for the front, we have the cockpit windows. Got some little text down there. I'll try to zoom in on that. So again, yeah, okay, that's, that should come out just fine. So you can see some text down there, sorts. I'm not sure what that says. Um, www.rj.com, which would probably be their website. They got the Royal Jordanian titles, and then again, right there in a uh, different language. And then we have the uh, Flag of Jordan over here, I believe. And then we have the registration, which is Juliet Yankee Bravo Alpha Charlie. Uh, got Boeing 7878, a little Dreamliner logo down there. And then we have the Royal Jordanian crown up there. Uh, float this underneath. This is really nice under here. And what's nice about this is that this is not a cradle mold. This is actually a uh, slotted mold. So this probably came over from a 
uh, JC Wings. This is also my first 7878, by the way, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we have the registration there on the uh, port wing, and then we have the engines, of course. Really nice colors here. This this turned out really well here. Near the top of the uh, plane right there, the various antennae and all that fun stuff. Uh, landing gears do roll, and I believe both the wings here are inserted uh, very cleanly and very securely. So that's really good. So really great model here from Hub Hobby. Um, again, 70 bucks is kind of an iffy price for this. I mean, I do appreciate this model. This is really nice for the collection. So I probably won't use it in any airport updates unless I want to do a Chicago Terminal 5. But uh, yeah. So I don't know, maybe I'll use it in the future for some random airport update or something if they do get Royal Jordanian service, which probably isn't really much apart from outside its home country. So yeah, with that out of the way, we're gonna move on to probably one of my most interesting models for this unboxing. All right, next up we have the United Airlines Boeing 377 Stratocruiser by, I think this is Dragon Wings. Let me see here. Uh, does not say, I think, I think this might be Dragon Wings. I'm not 100% sure, because it does not say any, okay, yeah, it is Dragon Wings. Okay, so I was right, it's just up there in the top, so I missed that the first time. <laughs> all right, so this is kind of an interesting box here, so let's go ahead and take a look at what this is all about. So we have the uh, Choking Hazard, Adult Collectible Warning, Boeing officially licensed product. We have an image of the plane, the very old United Airlines logo, Boeing 377 Stratocruiser, and the 1400 Premier Collection, a fancy E right there. Uh, produced under license, blah, 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 blah. I don't care about that. Um, under here we have Boeing 377 Stratocruiser, 1400 Premier Collection, item number is 55753. And here's the back of the box, or no, this is the front rather. Um, actually, no, I think it's the same on both sides, which is kind of interesting. So yeah, there's the back, and here's the top, got the price tag. This is only 30 bucks, so not a bad deal from it. And what is very interesting is that this is a tin box, so go ahead and take this out here. I gotta figure out how to remove this. So if I look like an idiot trying to unbox this, I do apologize. I've never unboxed one of these before. So here we go. Holy cow, that is amazing. Boeing Strato Cruiser there on the front. All right, let's unbox this here. And I think this is just, this just opens up. Whew. Okay, um, the uh, foam there kind of got stuck there on the side if you saw. Okay, so let's evaluate what we got going on in here. So we got a stand, um, Boeing 377, so this does have a removable landing gear, and then we have the plastic cradle underneath. So we'll take off the top plastic here. Holy cow, this is incredible. Oh my god. This feels very, very light, but I am just amazed. This is such an incredible model to have. Okay, this is just amazing. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a 377 Strato Cruiser in 1400 scale, but this is just, this beats out everything I think that I have to offer here in this unboxing. But yeah, this is why I'm asking unboxing number 11. I'm gonna call this a bit of an exotic unboxing because there's quite some interesting stuff in here. So let's go and take a look. So starting up at the front here, we have the copy windows, got a little United Airlines logo, got the United titles, and then some kind of text in here underneath the nose. I'll zoom in on that. I think that says, Mainliner, I think, and then it says, I think, Strato Cruiser right next to it, because that was the name of the 377. They called it the Strato Cruiser. I think this is a really innovative plane for the time, because I think this had a double deck. I might be thinking of another plane, but I think this was a double decker aircraft. And then we have the uh, engines right there, and then we have United logo there on the on the port wing there. Uh, United Airlines, mainline Strato Cruiser there underneath a blue cheat line. Got a nice red, white, and blue here on the uh, tail. United logo on the registration, November 31225. This aircraft has probably been scrapped, if I had to guess. And then we have the wings right here. This is incredible. 31225 on the, on the uh, uh, wing there, and then it's just kind of inverted underneath, printed underneath. Landing gear, which can be removed, and you can put it on the stand, but I won't because it's just incredible. So, yeah. This is quite a light model. I was expecting this to be a little bit heavier and a little bit bigger, but I mean, man, for 30 bucks, this is an incredible grab. So I think a lot of retro collectors are gonna be happy with me choosing this model over anything else that they had in the store. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, this is uh, this is what this is what makes this hobby interesting for me. I will find if I find things that are just this interesting and I take a liking to it, I'm probably going to get it. So this is one of those instances right there. So with that out of the way, we're going to move on to um, the main part of the hall here. So that was the end of the Hub Hobby Hall. Move on to DG Pilot. 
All right, here we go with the DG Pilot Hall. So I actually got to meet uh, uh, Donnie there, I think is his name. Uh, he's the guy that runs the store. Um, last time when I was there, there was some other person there, so I did not get to meet Donnie personally the, f the first time around, but this time he was there at the store. He's a really nice guy. He was fun to talk to. Had a lot of cool things to talk about while we were there at the store. And he had a lot of cool things in stock while I was there in the store. So I picked up quite a good haul here. It was a couple hundred bucks or so worth of stuff that I got. So um, yeah, because the haul was so big, and I'll show you here. Let me take out the tripod. It does come in two separate bags. So I'm gonna do this bag right here and I'll do this bag back here to round out the video. And of course the Gemini 200 model right here. So that'll be kind of the icing on the cake, if you will, to end the video. So yeah, here we go. Let's go ahead and do the first uh, bag here from the DG Pilot store. So I did pick up another thing of jet bridges right here. Um, this is the uh, three pack dual wide body jet bridges and airport adapters box or just a little container here, if you will. Um, so I do need some more jet bridges, so I figured I'd pick some up. Um, underneath here, we only have just a few models in here. So we do have this one right here. This did, this did interest me quite a bit here. This is the American Airlines Boeing 757-200, the jet flagship livery, uh, 757 jet flagship. So yeah, I mean, I don't know, I don't know why I really wanted to pick this up, but this did uh, take an interest to me. I did take a liking to this while I was there. So yeah, I figured I'd pick this up and here we are. That'll go well with my American Astro Jet, I just remembered, because the box art goes together. I'll put up a picture here once I get back home of the um, of what it looks like together, because it's a really nice uh, box art design right there. And then right here, we have a scratch and dent model, Continental Airlines uh, 737-900. This is a United Airlines retro, I should mention. Um, so United 737-900 Continental Retro Livery. And this was a scratch and dent model, as you can see there. Uh, left wing is detached with paint damage. And I forgot what the discount I got on this was, but it was decent enough to which I still purchased it. So with that out of the way, um, I'm not gonna unbox the jet bridges here because I figured I'd keep this in a pristine packaging until I get back home. So that won't be of much concern. So we're gonna do the Continental 737 and 900 here. So I'll take off the sticker here. I'll put that off to the side. I'll put that back on later. So up here on the top, we have 737 900. We got the Continental Airlines logo back behind there. Uh, the very old logo from like the 50s, I think. Um, Continental logo down there, registration November 75435. I used to have 75436, which is what Jim and I did back in like 2009, if I remember correctly. And I mean, that model was really nice, but I lost that one. So this will be nice to have in the collection. Uh, NG logo, one four hundred scale collectible models, diecast metal, officially licensed Boeing product. We have this side of the box, seven thirty seven nine hundred NG logo, Continental logo, one four hundred scale collectible models, diecast metal. Uh, here we have seven thirty seven nine hundred NG logo, uh, Continental image of the plane, registration November seven five four three five. And this side is the same. This side's the same. You get the drill at this point. Here's the back of the box. So this has NG socials and all that fun stuff. So, all right, let's go and take this out. And this should be another model that will have the um, collector's reward plan card in it, but as, as it did say there, the left wing is attached on this one, just like on the United, so I won't be as mad about it because obviously this is damage that was mentioned uh, by the store. So again, we do have another card right here, so ex to be expected, and there is the uh, code number, or not the code, uh, the production number. Not going to scratch off the code because then otherwise people will take that, and that will be problematic, so we're not going to show the codes here. All right, let's go ahead and take this out. And yeah, I'll check. I'll obviously check again. Just see, left wing is detached. Oopsie daisy. Uh, that did not help the situation there at all. So yeah, so you can see there, left wing will just come off, come off just like that. And uh, yeah, so kind of unfortunate. NG is having those QC issues, but we're gonna put that wing back in, and we're gonna do a traditional review. And here she is, the United Airlines 737-900 with the Continental Airlines Retro Livery. This is a really stunning model minus the QC issues. So uh, we'll start off at the front here. We got the uh, anti-glare uh, black paint there underneath the cockpit windows and the cockpit windows. Got the Continental logo and this beautiful cheat line that um, escapes out from the Continental Airlines logo and kind of goes um, back over here. Got the Continental Airlines logo there. Got a Wi-Fi dome, the registration number 75435. Continental logo there up top, and then we have uh, the wings here, which I'll go ahead and zoom in on, just try to focus on them here. Again, this is a really, really nice design on the uh, winglet there, so good job by NG to getting, to, uh, getting that right. Um, but just un unfortunate that this does have uh, the aforementioned uh, QC issue there with the wing coming off. But again, I'm not as mad with this one because I knew this was going to be broken. Um, I was only mad about the uh, United one because that I was not aware that was going to come broken. So whatever. I'm not going to complain a waffle about it because that's where I got that United from. 
and I would hate to be the person that is responsible for another bad customer complaint. So I'm going to flip it over here without the wing uh, falling off here, hopefully. So we do have a nice uh, painted silver underneath here. No polished underbelly, unfortunately, uh, for those that do prefer it. But I do like the silver here. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it here for this one. Overall, the model is pretty good, minus the wing damage there, so I will unfortunately have to show with the detached wing in the thumbnail, so yeah. With that out of the way, we're gonna move on to the next model. Next up in line, we have the American 757-200 and the 757 Jet Flagship Retro Livery. With a really nice box on here, so let's go and take a look. We have Boeing 757-200 up here. I uh, got the various American logos there in the back. Image of the plane, 757 Jet Flagship, American Airlines logo, registration, November 679 or Alpha, November. NG logo, Boeing officially licensed product, 1400 scale collectible models, die cast metal. On this side, we have a Boeing 757-200, NG logo, American Airlines, 1400 scale collectible models, die cast metal. And up here we have a Boeing 757-200, NG logo, image of the plane, and the registration, November 679 or Alpha, November. And then we have this side right here, which is the same, and then obviously top will be the same as the bottom, all that fun stuff. So uh, here's the back of the box. We have NG socials and everything, same as the front, but without all the aircraft stuff. So item number on this one is uh, 53175. The Continental was 79010. I don't think I read that one off, so. All right, let's go ahead and hop in. And hopefully this one is not broken. Um, I do not believe this model has a collector card, which it does not, so um, yeah. This was released before the um, October 2021 stuff that got pushed back to January, so it does not have that. Uh, what's the best way to approach this unboxing here? Sorry about the angles, guys. I'll try to make sure they're better here throughout the video. Okay. Now, please don't tell me that any of these wings are going to come off. Okay. Oh. Come on, man. Oh boy, yeah, uh, we have some serious QC issues. I don't know what is going on with NG, but their QC just blows right now. Like, what in the hell? God. Well, I mean, at least this time around, it's just the um, a horizontal stabilizer, not a wing. But I mean, still, that's unfortunate that we have QC issues like that. But I mean, seriously, all three of my NGs have come broken. Like, why? So, that's delightful. Yeah, I don't even know what to say about NG's quality anymore. It was so good back in the day, and now it's just, this, this just blows. I mean, yes, this time it's not as significant as a wing or anything, but I mean, still, this is a broken piece. This is like 40 bucks, 45 bucks, whatever it is. That th This should not be happening this often. I mean, whatever, maybe, maybe I just got unlucky. Maybe that's the case, but I mean, regardless, this needs to be looked at by NG, and I definitely appreciate it if they would look at it and try to fix it in some aspect, but whatever. We're still gonna do a review anyway, because on this side, it looks just fine, so I'm gonna move that out of the frame. American 757-200, a 757 Jack flagship retro livery, a beautiful chrome livery. I mean, this livery is stunning. So starting off at the front here, we got a little black nose, got the copy windows, a uh, little logo there, if I can zoom in on that. Yep, that's the old American Airlines logo. Uh, the camera here is not having a good time with them. this, this like shininess of everything. But yeah, um, we have the American Airlines logo sitting here. We got the beautiful engines. Uh, American tail right there, 757 Jet flagship and the registration applied underneath, probably just like how they used to have it back in like the 2000s or so. This livery does not exist anymore since American got rid of their 757s. Again, there's that QC error, and then we have all that other fun stuff, so yeah. Apart from that, the delivery is really stunning. This model is great, minus the QC issues, which is really unfortunate. I don't think I've seen that very many people get a 757 broken, but I don't know. I, 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 I just I just wish that NG would look at this QC issue thing, because this is getting out of hand now. I did not get that many broken NGs before 2021, and now here we are. I've gotten now four broken NGs, the United SP, uh, the American uh, um, American Astrojet Retro, um, that did have a loose horizontal stabilizer, though I did not remove it. In this case here, I had to because it was already really loose and it was going to fall off anyway. And then we also had the United 737-900 and the Scratch and Dent Continental Retro 737-900, which also came broken. So, really unfortunate all my NGs came broken here. Um, I do have one more, and let's hope to God that one's not broken here. I can at least get one perfect NG, so... With that out of the way, we're going to move on to the next bag, because that was it for the first bag, so let's show off the second bag. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the second bag here. I got two bars on my camera battery here, but we should be able to make this quick. 
So first up on the top of the bag, we have a scratch and dent, United 737 Max 8. Only damages at the top rear antenna is missing, so that's not that big of a deal, so I should be able to ignore that. Um, underneath, we have another retro. We have the Northwest 757-200 X-Orient livery, or the silver, silver bullet, whatever you want to call it. I just call it the X-Orient because this is, you know, the thermometer and all that stuff that's carried over from Northwest Orient. They just dropped the Orient titles back in, like, the 70s or 80s or whatever. I still need to find a 747 in that livery. Um, underneath, we do have the wonderful NG models, 1 to 400 scale, United 757, 200 in the Evo Blue livery. So I'm excited to unbox that. Hopefully that's not broken because I've lost a little bit of excitement with the NGs here. And then we have a bit of an interesting one here. I was really hoping to find a regular one of this, but I'll take the flaps down any day. We have the Turkish Airlines 7879 with the flaps down configuration. And that's pretty much all the models that we have left here to unbox. And then we have the Gemini 200 that I'll do here towards the tail end of the video. So we're going to go ahead and, and get started with the United 737 MAX 8 since that is a scratch and dent and it is also the smallest model that I have to unbox. So obviously we got all the normal Gemini stuff. I won't go into too much detail with that. So here it is inside. And you can see there that antenna there is missing as indicated by that black hole there. And it's not anywhere in the cradle, I don't think. So 25% discount, I think it was, or something like that. I don't know the exact amount, but... Yeah, so there's the back 2021 release and the item number on this one, sorry about the glare, uh, GJUAL2049. This is from the, I think, December-January set, if I remember correctly. Um, so this will be the second model from that set. So yeah, let's hope this one is not broken either. Okay, uh, wings are good. You know, it really amazes me that I've not gotten a broken Gemini yet. I mean, that's ridiculous. And I've gotten three broken NGs, one of which I knew was already broken because I bought it defective. So, really unfortunate that has to be the case. So, I really hope that's not going to become a consistent issue here later on. All right, here it is, the United 737 Max 8 by Gemini Jets. This is wearing the Evo Blue livery, of course. So this is now like my fifth or sixth model with that Evo Blue livery. Really, really nice to have. So starting up at the front, we have the cockpit windows, connecting people, United in the world titles, Star Alliance logo right there. We got the L1 door, the wonderful swoopy um, blue line there that goes across the model. They did introduce that, um, the like the wavy line on their um, 787 Dreamliners and they put them on some uh, Continental Globe 737 Max 9s when they got them before the Evo Blue livery was introduced. Registration November 27251 and we have the Evo Blue tail. Uh, top of the model got the Wi-Fi dome, various antennae and all that fun stuff. And then down here we got like a tail strike um, protection, protection thingamajig. Again, landing gear glued on this. I don't know why it's like that here on this mold. They should definitely change that. I mean, yeah, apart from that, the model is in immaculate condition. No QC issues, which is quite amazing that I've gotten zero broken Geminis and yet three NGs, one of which I already knew was broken. But I mean, this is ridiculous. They got to they gotta get that figured out, man. I just don't know what's going on. They're losing, they're gonna be losing the battle here. And I just noticed here, speaking of QC, this engine here is ridiculously tilted upwards. I mean, yeah, when you talk about NGQC, I gotta bring up Gemini QC as well. I mean, golly, that engine is really messed up. Holy crap. Yeah, I don't know, uh, that is not good. Is that gonna fall off? Like, what in the, what in the holy crap? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, so QC again really blows here in this unboxing now in general. Just all this other stuff here. They really gotta get this sorted out. Both companies do, so. All right, we'll move on to the next model. Next up in line, we have the Northwest 757-200 in the X-Orient thermometer livery. I love this livery here on some of these aircraft right here. Like the 757, this 757 is worn this livery, the bowling shoe, the Northwest final livery, and of course now the Delta um, upward and onward livery, the current one that they have um, in their fleet. So flip it open there. There is the aircraft inside, aircraft pamphlet, normal stuff from Gemini. I'm trying to think what month this was released, and this is a 2021 release, so again, really stacking on top of the 2021 stuff here. This is incredible. That 2021 was a great year for Gemini Jets releases outside of uh, January and February. So, that out of the way, uh, we're going to go and unbox this. Item number is GJ NWA 1980. So, it really fits the theme there, 1980s ish livery, I guess. <laughs> All right. Let's see, this is broken here. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, this mold is not the best, but you know what? NGs is hard to find, so I'll take the Gemini any day. 
And here she is, the Northwest 757-200 with the X-Orient, um, whatever livery this is called, I don't know. I just call it X-Orient because that's what it kind of is to me. But I don't think there has to be an official name out there. Maybe like, maybe it's like Silver Bullet or, you know, the thermometer name has been used quite a bit too because the logo there kind of looks like thermometer, but whatever. I'm not here to debate what the name of this livery is. I'll just call it the X-Orient livery. So starting off at the front, we have a little black nose, if you can see it right over there. Uh, got the cockpit windows, which are a little bit wonky on this model. We got the L1 door, Northwest titles, and a little thermometer right there. And then we have this nice black cheat line that goes all the way to the back. It's like very dark blue, actually. Uh, got white here in the middle, and then silver on the top and bottom, or just kind of like bare metal. And then we have a red Northwest tail. Really, really nice red on here. It looks better in person than it does here on the camera because of the lighting and such. But uh, yeah, a uh, really nice model. Let's go ahead and flip it over underneath. We have, now the landing gear is like tilted to the right, if you can see that. Good God. Yeah, QC has just not been my best friend today. Um, I'll check this stuff here, but I mean, yeah, this is fine because this is a cradle mold. Why they can't upgrade this, I don't know. If they if they could, they would have a really good um, potential to compete with NG really well, but as of right now, it just kind of sucks, so. I mean, yeah, the engines and everything, everything's all glued on, so that's good. Nothing to worry about here in terms of QC. Really, really nice model. Happy to have this in my collection. Again, I don't know what month this was released in off the top of my head. It may have been sometime in the summer, I think. Sometime like Q2, Q3. Holy crap, Delta, thank you, taxi right by my hotel room. Holy cow. Yep, so we interrupt this uh, video again here. Sorry about the camera here. It is not wanting to focus on anything outside. I'm going to turn on manual focus here. Come on, you camera. Oh, putting up with this here. So let me try to focus this here. Look at what's taxiing right by my hotel room. Delta, thank you. Absolutely incredible to see this again. Yes. So thank you for watching this video if you've made it this far. But again, really nice to see this here. So another interruption, but we'll get back to the unboxing video. So yeah, like I was saying, this is a really nice model to have in the collection. Just wish that the 757 mold was a little bit better in terms of um, the cradle stuff, QC and everything. But I mean, yeah, QC on these 757s are actually pretty good from Gemini. So just wish they would fix up some of the other stuff and that'd be a really great mold. Definitely compete with NG. So with that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next model. Next up, we have the United 757-200 in the Evo Blue livery by NG Models. I've heard that this is an absolutely stunning model. B767 Aviation made a really incredible video on this model. Really great editing and everything in between. So really nice video. I highly recommend checking out his if you want like a really more in-depth review um, on his channel. He's a really great channel as well. So just kind of a brief shout out to him. But I'll go, go and do my own review on this, if you will. So 757-200 up here. Got the United logo, or United image of the plane, rather. Uh, United logo down here. Registration November 48127. NG logo, 1400 scale collectible models, diecast metal. Uh, Boeing officially licensed product. There's a side of the box there, 757-200. United logo, NG logo, 1400 scale collectible models, diecast metal. I'm kind of going quick here because my camera battery's running low and I want to keep this all in one clip. 757-200, NG logo, United um, image of the plane, and the registration of number 4127. That size the same, everything else is all the same, so there's the back of the box, NG, NG socials and everything. And now let's hope to God this is not broken, because if it is, I am going to lose it. So, yeah, we should have a collector card in here in this one as well. Um, so I'll have three collector's cards, so maybe I'll have to create an account, maybe. I'll have to start registering that in. Look at that. Oh, they just kind of like nestle it in there right on top so there's and there it is right there production number uh, 3200 or something so that's really nice putting that off to the side here and now let's seriously hope that qc is not going to be an issue in this one otherwise i'm going to lose it i'm going to lose my marbles here if this one is broken as well um okay so that looks good that looks good it looks to be a little bit off but you know what all the pieces are glued on. Finally, got a non-defective NG, regardless of the status of me knowing that it was broken or not. All right, so I know the colors look really ridiculous on this, but please excuse that, because uh, again, the lighting here is not the best as I'm watching uh, the Delta Thank You livery take off here on runway 30 right, right outside my hotel room. So just kind of waving here to the pilots to see. I don't even think they can see me from over here. I'm just like well up in the hotel here, so whatever. Let's go and do the review of the United 757-200 Evo Blue Livery by NG Models. This does have the Skimitar wing lenses you can see there and back there. So starting off at the front, we have the cockpit windows, connecting people united in the world. So I have like three United Evo Blues joining my collection. That's incredible. Powering up. 
And there she goes. See you later, Delta. Thank you. It was nice seeing you here. Thank you for stopping by. Yes, please. <laughs> All right, so getting back to review here, we got the Connecting People United in the World titles, got the Star Alliance logo, L1 door, United titles right there, and then we have a wonderful um, transition there between the white and the gray underbelly. Uh, there it is underneath there. I'll just go ahead and showcase registration here, November 4127. American flag, got the Wi-Fi dome up here, another antennae, which everything looks to be all in there. Uh, nothing is missing this time, so would have not lost it as much there. Then we have the beautiful uh, United Evil Blue Tail. Again, the colors look a little bit blown out, but again, that's my lighting, so I do apologize for that. The lighting, or the colors rather, really, really good here on this model. Landing gear and everything are all present. This is one of the best 757 molds out there. Nobody would tell me otherwise, or at least in 1-400 scale, rather. Um, maybe 1-200's got something better, but we'll see. So yeah, really, really nice model. Happy to have this in my collection. This will work out really well along with the herd here in New York, New Jersey. In case I need to use the United 757-200 in my airport updates at any point in time. So, really nice to have this and it'll complement well with the herd here anyway. So, with that out of the way, we're going to move on to the last 1-400 scale model in this video. And our last 1-400 scale model to unbox in this video, we have the Gemini Jets 1-400 scale Turkish Airlines Boeing 787-9 with the flaps down configuration. So this will be my second flaps down model in my collection. I would have picked up an interactive series. I saw how Poppy had a few, but the prices were ridiculous there and DG Pilot didn't have any, so I'm still without um, an interactive series. So maybe next time I'll try to get one at some point. So yeah, there we have uh, the model inside. And then we have the aircraft pamphlet, so very usual stuff here. Uh, flip to the back. This is again 2021. I think this is the September set. So this will be my first model from the September releases. So I'll have now a model from every Gemini Jets 2021 release set, or at least one model from it. Uh, item number this one is GJTHY2018F. Again, the F indicates that it is a flaps down. Not seen the 7879 flaps down mold yet, so it'll be nice to have that to go with the Coletta 747 mask livery that I got uh, back for Christmas. And all right, it's going to take this out. It's a very greasy model. I meant to take it out by the tail, so do that here. And ooh, ooh, man, wow! Yes, please. That is beautiful. Absolutely breathtaking right here for this one. So here it is: a Turkish Airlines seven eight seven nine flaps down so i was really wanting to get one with the normal wing configuration but uh, but i did not see any of the regular ones so the flaps down one was the only one i saw so i figured yeah why not let's go and do flaps down so i'll be happy with this anyway starting off at the front we have the cockpit windows got the star alliance logo got the turkish airlines titles up here along with the flag of turkey right there l1 door and we have a beautiful tulip right here towards the back and then we have the turkish airlines logo there on the tail Registration is uh, Tango Charlie Dash Lima Lima Oscar uh, Boeing 7879. We got the Dreamliner logo. Uh, flip it underneath. We got the Turkish Airlines logo here. Let me flip it over to the other side. There we go. So you can kind of see it there. And then we have the uh, logo there for Turkish Airlines. Uh, registration printed on the port wing right there. And all the other details and everything look really good. And here are the flaps. Golly, and they and they got the wing angle as well, which is really cool. They had that on some of their older 787s, but when it was without the flaps down stuff, although they didn't have up to that point. But yeah, really, really cool model here. This will look great on like a stand or anything like that. So really have to invest in again another stand for it. The DG Pilot didn't have a stand, but I should have picked it up. Crap. Eh, maybe I can make another run back there. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So yeah, that's all the models from DG Pilots. So again, really wonderful store. I highly recommend going there if you're within the uh, Minneapolis area. They're in downtown St. Paul off of St. Peter Street, I think. So if you really are looking for some airplane models, definitely stop there. Great store, great customer service, everything in between. And their online operations are really good as well. Good shipping, great customer service on there as well. And again, not a sponsor video or anything, but I just kind of want to promote DG Pilot a little bit more and just try to get the word out there that, hey, you should buy from this store. So. Yeah, with that out of the way, we're going to move on to the final model in the unboxing. And that is 1 to 200 scale territory. Yes, I am finally going to have a Gemini 200 model in the collection. The Gemini 200 1 to 200 scale Delta Connection Bombardier slash Mitsubishi CRJ 900. This model made everybody, all American collectors, lose their minds 
in the 1400 side of things back in March of 2021. I still remember March 16th, that very day they announced the uh, March 2021 releases and that model was in the 1400 releases and good God, that thing sold out fast. Um, selling on eBay for crazy prices, 150, 200 dollars. So, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and kind of go over the box. I've never really seen one of these in the flash before, so this is all new to me. Uh, Gemini 200 logo up here. We got the Delta logo there in this like white banner. Image of the plane. Bombardier ACRJ 900, 1200 scale diecast model aircraft. Item number G2 DAL 970. Uh, there is the side of the box. You can see it there. So similar layout as opposed to the 1400 stuff. Really cool gold text. This is really cool. So there's a side there, and here is the back of the box. Um, as real as it gets. We'll see how real it gets with this one here, the 1200. And what's cool about this is from what I've seen from the unboxings, that has like a button here. So it opens up with this button here at the front, and then you just kind of flip it open, and there you go. I'm actually going to go ahead and move you guys down to the bottom here so you can kind of see this better. Okay. Hopefully the camera does not come undone from the tripod here. So sorry about the camera angle, but I'll try to make this work uh, best I can. So you see there, I'll kind of un uh, redo the button here. So you can see the button kind of attaches to it, maybe like a magnet or something. So you just un undo that. Oops, there, my bad. And then it just kind of flips open there and you got the styrofoam there on top. It protects the model and everything. So I'll move the top layer here. Um, there is a stand in here, I think this is what it is, but I've heard the stands are not that great, so I'm not going to put it on the stand or anything. Got the plastic, and unveiling. Oh, man. Wow. My god, this is cool. I'm kind of smaller than I was expecting, maybe about the same size as kind of expecting, really, but yeah. Really, really good job, Gemini. Much better than the 1400, I hate to say it, but that's kind of the truth here. All right, put it back up on the shelf. We'll do a review. Well, I think I know the craze over 1200 now, so very happy to have a 1200 model in my collection. Awesome, awesome here to have. My goodness. All right, so start off with the front here. We got the cockpit windows, a lot more details on here. I'll just zoom in on each section because there's so many more details captured on the 1200 side of things as opposed to 1400. So you can see there, we got a lot of details there. CRJ900 there, 821 operated by SkyWest. SkyTeam logo, L1 door. Uh, Delta connection titles as we move back here, various antennae, two on top, one on the bottom. Got some baggage loader areas. Um, overwing exit, November 821 Sierra Kilo, same registration that Gemini did in the March releases from 2021. Engines, and then we have the Delta tail, all painted blue. And then the APU exhaust as well. And you can kind of see the winglet back there all painted blue. Flip it underneath and there it is, boys. Look at this. Yeah, kind of lighter than I was expecting it to be. But I mean, yeah, it's a 1200 CRJ 900. So figured I'd treat myself to my first ever 1200 model. And here we are with it. So really happy to have my first ever 1200 scale model. All right, guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do a little bit of a handheld thing here with the camera here. So let me grab a chair here so I can sit down and just kind of discuss uh, some general thoughts and opinions on Massive Unboxing number 11, all the models and everything in between. Because I've been standing for the last hour or so filming this unboxing. It's just been just been crazy. So, I mean, yeah, um, models are really good. I just hate that the NGs came broken constantly. Like, I mean, come on. These guys got to get this sorted out. This is ridiculous, but... Uh, the Maxes look really good there, both the United and American uh, jet flagship. I mean, come on, guys, get that fixed as well. Northwest, Silver Bullet, whatever you want to call it, looks really, really nice. Um, United Evo Blue, thankfully not broken, and this is an incredible model. And then we have Royal Jordanian, kind of an inter interesting grab, but I figured I'd get it. Uh, Turkish Airlines 7879, so just kind of building up a good international fleet here with these two models. And then the 1200 scale to the connection CRJ900. Um, I might wait a little while before I build up a really good fleet of 1200 stuff. So this will probably be my sole 1200 scale model in my collection for the moment. Um, but once I'm older and once I have my own place and everything, I will probably build up a good uh, fleet of 1200 stuff. So, yep, that'll do it for Massive Unboxing number 11. So really good variety here in this unboxing video. Found some very interesting stuff, including but not limited to the United Strato Cruiser, uh, Northwest Silver Bullet right there, or X Orient livery, whatever. Um, and then some international stuff. One 200 as well. Really nice to have that in the collection finally. And all that good stuff. So, thanks for watching this entire video here. I do appreciate you watching this entire video. If you have stuck through this the entire way, again, this is being premiered on whatever date I'm going to go with here. I don't know what date yet because I have to work out all the other content that I have filmed from my Minneapolis trip. So, 
With that being said, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching this if you stuck through the entire thing. And hopefully you'll be seeing these models very, very, very soon. So I'll see you in the next video.